Hi, this is Pratima from Planet Physiology. In this session, we are going to study renin angiotensin aldosterone system, which is also known as renin angiotensin aldosterone axis. This system is mainly concerned with regulation of extracellular fluid volume and mean blood pressure. So, let us study its details. As name suggests, this system includes three components, renin, angiotensin and aldosterone. So, for each component, we shall study what is its source, structure and functions. In the last, we shall study clinical applications related with the system. Before starting with the topic, let us quickly brush up the parts of nephron as we shall need its reference throughout this session. As indicated in this diagram, shown in pink color is Bauman's capsule within which are the glomerular capillaries which is also called as glomerulus. Bauman's capsule terminates in coiled tubule called as proximal convoluted tubule which runs straight down the medulla and forms hairpin bend and the structure is called as loop of Henle. Later part of loop of Henle becomes thicker and enters the cortex to form distal convoluted tubule. Initial part of distal convoluted tubule passes in between afferent and efferent arterioles and this portion shows histological modifications to form JG apparatus or juxta glomerular apparatus. Distal convoluted tubule then form cortical collecting ducts and medullary collecting ducts which again run into the medulla. So, let us start with the renin. Renin was discovered by Robert Tigerster and his student Per Bergman in 1898. Renin is mainly secreted by JG cells of the kidney. Small amount of renin is also secreted from pericytes of afferent arterioles and also locally in various tissues. But this amount is negligible and hence the major source of renin is JG cells. Basically it is a glycoprotein with 340 amino acids with molecular weight of about 37,000. It is secreted as a large precursor called as pre-prorenin. It is then split to form prorenin and stored in granules of JG cells. It is finally split to form renin just before its secretion. Normal value of renin in adults ranges between 1.98 and 24.6 nanogram per liter. These levels are increased by glucocorticoids, thyroid hormones, estrogens, cytokines as well as angiotensin 2. The main stimuli for release of renin include decrease in arterial blood pressure or blood volume leading to decrease in the renal arteriolar pressure. Renin is also secreted in response to decreased NaCl concentration in the filtrate entering DCT and this is mediated via macula densa which sends NaCl concentration in the filtrate. Sympathetic stimulation also releases renin via beta 1 adrenergic receptors. Renin acts as enzyme and splits angiotensinogen to form angiotensin 1. Angiotensinogen is an alpha 2 globulin secreted from liver. It has 453 amino acids and is also called as renin substrate. Angiotensin 1 is a decapeptide and acts as substrate to form angiotensin 2. Angiotensin converting enzyme which is abbreviated as ACE is mainly found in endothelial cells of pulmonary blood vessels. It splits two amino acids from angiotensin 1 and converts it to an octopeptide angiotensin 2. ACE is also found in other body parts in small quantities. Angiotensin 2 is biologically active form and acts through AT1 and AT2 receptors. AT stands for angiotensin. AT1 receptors mediate major cardiovascular effects of angiotensin 2 which include vasoconstriction, aldosterone and vasopressin release 
cardiac hypertrophy, augmentation of noradrenergic activity and vascular smooth muscle proliferation. And these effects are mediated via phospholipase C second messenger system which increases intracellular calcium concentration. It also inhibits adenylate cyclase. Angiotensin 2 receptors are highly expressed in fetal kidneys and intestine and in adults they are mainly found in myometrium. They are also present in smaller quantities in adrenal gland as well as fallopian tube. Now coming to the actions of angiotensin 2. Major action of angiotensin 2 is to increase mean arterial blood pressure and it is achieved through various mechanisms. First, it is a potent vasoconstrictor and it acts on arteries as well as on veins. Arteriolar constriction increases total peripheral resistance and thereby diastolic blood pressure. Whereas, venoconstriction increases blood volume and thereby cardiac output and hence systolic blood pressure. Thus, it increases mean blood pressure. Angiotensin 2 also causes strong efferent arteriolar vasoconstriction and increases GFR by increasing glomerular capillary hydrostatic pressure. It also causes renal artery as well as afferent arteriolar vasoconstriction but these actions are weaker. Thus, angiotensin 2 helps to maintain GFR. So, it is an important part of tubuloglomerular feedback mechanism. Angiotensin 2 also increases blood pressure by increasing blood volume. It directly acts on proximal convoluted tubule to stimulate sodium hydrogen exchanger. Thus facilitates sodium and water retention by the body. It also causes aldosterone release from adrenal cortex which in turn increases sodium reabsorption from principal cells of distal convoluted tubules and collecting tubules which helps in water retention and increases blood volume. Aldosterone also upregulates epithelial sodium channels that is Emax in collecting ducts and colon and thus increases blood volume and thereby blood pressure. Angiotensin 2 stimulates antidiuretic hormone release from posterior pituitary which inserts aquaporin channels in principal cells of DCT and cortical tubules and increases blood volume. It also activates thirst center and increases water intake leading to rise in blood volume and hence blood pressure. Other actions of angiotensin 2 include release of catecholamine especially norepinephrine through postganglionic sympathetic neurons and its sensitivity. It decreases baroreceptor sensitivity and both these actions help to raise blood pressure. Angiotensin 2 also increases fat mass through upregulation of lipogenesis and downregulation of lipolysis. It also causes contraction of messenger cells and helps in GFR regulation. It has prothrombotic potential means it causes platelet adhesion and aggregation and also stimulation of plasminogen activator inhibitor 1 and 2. It increases ACTS secretion from anterior pituitary. It also has significant growth effect on cardiac muscles and its action is seen through protein kinase C. Similar action is also seen in smooth muscle cells in conditions of hypertension, atherosclerosis and endothelial damage. Angiotensin 2 has half life of 1 to 2 minutes in circulation and it is rapidly degraded into angiotensin 3 by the enzyme angiotensinase. It is mainly found in RBCs but also in other tissues. Angiotensin 3 has 7 amino acids and it has 40% of the pressor activity of angiotensin 2 but 100% of the aldosterone producing activity. Angiotensin 3 is further degraded to angiotensin 4. So, these are the metabolic end products of angiotensin 2. Apart from this major rein in angiotensin system, this system is also active in various other body parts like blood vessels, uterus, placenta, fetal membrane, eyes, exocrine pancreas, heart, adipose tissues, adrenal cortex, 
test is ovaries pituitary gland pineal gland and brain but overall this activity is localized and do not constitute to circulatory rain in angiotensin levels now coming to the clinical aspects related with rain in angiotensin system overactive rain in angiotensin system leads to vasoconstriction and increase in sodium and water retention by the kidneys and both these actions lead to sustained hypertension so knowledge of rain in angiotensin system helps in treatment of such kind of hypertension ACE inhibitors like ramipril angiotensin 2 receptor blockers like catopril or rain in inhibitors like enalkerin help in regulation of the sustained hypertension and treatment of choice for hypertension overactive rain in angiotensin system can be detected by finding out plasma rain in activity plasma rain in activity mainly measures rain in concentration and its ability to produce angiotensin 1 normal value of plasma rain in activity in supine subjects eating normal amount of sodium is 1 nanogram of angiotensin 1 generated per ml per hour let us quickly summarize the important aspects of rain in angiotensin aldosterone system renin is an enzyme released from jg cells of kidneys it acts on angiotensinogen that is secreted from liver and converts it to angiotensin 1 angiotensin 1 is converted to angiotensin 2 by angiotensin converting enzyme in lungs and it is biologically active form angiotensin 2 leads to vasoconstriction through at1 receptors it increases sodium chloride and water reabsorption from proximal convoluted tubules it also causes release of aldosterone from adrenal cortex which in turn causes sodium chloride and water reabsorption from principal cells of distal convoluted tubules and cortical tubules angiotensin 2 also causes adh release from posterior pituitary which in turn inserts aquaporin 2 water channels in again distal convoluted tubules and cortical tubules leading to water reabsorption it acts on hypothalamus stimulates thirst center and increases water intake thus all these actions finally cause increase in the blood pressure so that's all for this session thank you if you enjoy my sessions press the like button and share it with your friends if you haven't yet subscribed my channel press the subscribe button to get notifications about new releases press bell icon thank you for watching and see you in the next video